Today through this video we are going to learn about single phase preventer that is single phase preventer which we use how does it work and how to do wiring of this we are going to learn through this video friends if you have a equipment which requires three phase power supply to run for example i am taking a motor here this motor works on three phase power supply now see here if three phase power is supplied to this motor then this motor will run now due to some reason in running condition power supply which is going to the motor due to some reason power supply of one phase is gone that is if this motor starts getting power supply of only two phase then this motor won't stop in this condition motor will continue to work but motor starts making a humming sound and slowly motor starts get heating up after some time motor may get burned so friends this motor here or any equipment which we are using if we want to give protection through single phase then for this we use single phase preventer there are three types of single phase preventer first is voltage operated single phasing preventer second is current operated single phasing preventer and there is one more type of preventer we call this also as current operated single phasing preventer but in this third type a ct is used why ct is used here i will explain you later in this video First of all I am going to explain you about voltage operated single phase preventer. Look, this single phase preventer which operates on voltage is mostly used. You must have seen in your company also how this preventer is used. The single phase preventer here, if we want to use this for protection of any motor, then you can see the circuit diagram here. This is our motor. For protection of this motor, overload relay is used here. for turning on and off a contactor is there and for backup a fuse is connected and here mcb or up switch also you can see from here power supply ryb is given to this motor now see if we want to operate this motor then we turn on and off this contactor for turning on and off contactor dual starter is made now you can see one more thing here here one single phase preventer is connected this single phase preventer here connection of this is very simple what you have to do you can see one number two number three number terminals here on these terminals you have to connect phase supply that is at one number terminal r phase will be connected at two number terminal y phase and at three number terminal b phase will be connected from this single phase preventer gets input power supply now inside of this single phase preventer 9 volt coil is there what happen is when single phase preventer gets three phase power supply then nc contact inside of this five number and six number terminals are of nc contact this contact will remain nc only now suppose this y phase fuse here is somehow blown when this fuse is gone from here three phase power supply which is going for motor among these only two phase will flow towards motor now r phase and b phase will go to motor now y phase will not be available from now in this condition single phase preventer will sense this and what it will do it opens the nc contact here that is power supply which is going from here it will stop now now what happen is in this control wiring here power supply will not flow and coil of contactor this one power supply will not reach here so contactor will turn off and due to this motor will turn off now see here if we want to do connection or control wiring of single phase preventer then we do it simply what we have to do nc contact of preventer here we have to connect this in series with stop push button Now if you are using star delta starter then there also nc contact of preventer is to be connected in series with stop push button now let us move on to current operated single phasing preventer this single phase preventer here which operates on current we have to connect this in line that is in power wiring we have to connect this you can see here l1 l2 l3 that is we will connect incoming power supply here as you can see in this power wiring here is r y b phase here one switch is connected after that one fuse is connected now power supply which is going from fuse with l1 l2 l3 terminal we have to connect this after this here you can see m1 m2 m3 terminal from this terminal we give power supply to overload relay and after this through overload relay power supply goes to motor so power wiring of this is done now if we want to turn on motor then we do control wiring here dual starter is made Now in this dual starter if we want to do connection of this preventer then what we will do stop push button here in series to this stop push button nc contact of this preventer will be used here current operated single phase preventer 
will work exactly like voltage operated single phase preventer that is nc contact of this will only change power circuit of this will not break it remains connected always only nc contact of this changes now if your single phase preventer operates that is through single phase preventer if motor turned off then here by using a no contact power supply is given to a indication lamp now what happen is when single phase preventer operates then this indication lamp will glow you can see one more thing here in this circuit diagram no contact of overload relay is also connected with the same indication lamp that is overload relay here or single phase preventer here among these if any one is operated then this indication lamp will glow after this one on indication lamp and one off indication lamp is connected so now you understood how to do wiring of current operated single phase preventer friends always remember one thing we use current operated single phase preventer at low rating you can see here we can use this preventer only from 3 to 6 horsepower if rating of your motor i mean if it is of high kilowatt then you cannot use this preventer now let us move on to preventer which operates on ct preventer which operates on ct is used for high voltage or is used for equipment whose current rating is very high price of ct operated preventer is very high this is why it is not used generally friends how to do wiring of ct operated preventer let's understand this look here is power wiring of dol starter power wiring which is done here cable of this that is from outgoing terminal of fuse power supply which is going we pass this supply inside of ct here two ct are used now these two cables that is r phase and y phase cable here is passed inside of ct and after this input power supply is given to contactor now in this ct there are two terminals s1 and s2 with s1 and s2 terminal of ct wires are connected and with the preventer we do the connection now here one thing is not shown but i am telling you preventer here which operates on ct we have to give auxiliary power supply to this also that is to this preventer we have to give one single phase power supply separately so we saw the power wiring now let's come to the control wiring friends control wiring is also same what we have to do in this single phase preventer connect nc contact of this with series to stop push button rest everything is same even the working is also same So friends I hope you understood what is single phase preventer and how to do wiring of this if you want to learn how to do VMR relay connection with distribution board of our home then click on the right hand side video to watch friends if you like this video then please do like share and comment on this video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe thanks for watching this video